Krishna 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 hey Krishna 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 Om namo bhagavate vasudevaya 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 Om Shri Surabhyay Namaha 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 Mukham Karoti Vasaram Pangum Nagayate Giram Yatripa Atmaham Vande Shri Varum Dinataram Yatripa Atmaham Vande Shri Varum Dinataram Hare Krishna Hare Krishna Welcome to our Bhagavatam class. Reading from Canto number 4, chapter 12, entitled Guru Maharaj Goes Back to Godhead, I believe, text 45. Nanyam, Nanyam. Yashasyam, Yashasyam. Ayushyam, Ayushyam. Punyam, Punyam. Swasti, Swasti. Ayanam, Ayanam. Mahat, Mahat. Svargyam, Svargyam, Dravyam, Dravyam, Somanasyam, Somanasyam, Prashasyam, Prashasyam, Agha, Agha, Marshanam, Marshanam, Dhanyam, Yashasyam, Ayushyam, Dhanyam, Yashasyam, Ayushyam, Punyam, Svasyayanam, Mahat. Puryam Svastyayanam Mahat Svargyam Drogyam Sumanasyam Svargyam Drogyam Sumanasyam Prashasyam Agha Marshanam Prashasyam Agha Marshanam Dhanyam Yasasyam Ayushyam Dhanyam Yasasyam Ayushyam Dhanyam Svastyayanam Mahat Punyam Svastyayanam Mahat Sargyam Drogyam Sumanasyam Sargyam Drogyam Sumanasyam Prashasyam Agamarshanam Prashasyam Agamarshanam Dhanyam Yashasyam Ayushyam Dhanyam Yashasyam Ayushyam Punyam Svasyayanam Mahat Punyam Svasyayanam Mahat Sargyam Drogyam Sumanasyam Svargyam Dravyam Samanasyam Prasarsyam Agamarshanam Prasarsyam Agamarshanam Dhanyam Dhanyam Bestowing wealth Bestowing wealth Yashasyam Yashasyam Bestowing reputation Bestowing reputation Ayushyam Ayushyam Increasing the duration of life Increasing the duration of life Punyam, Punyam, sacred, sacred, swasti ayanam, swasti ayanam, creating auspiciousness, creating auspiciousness, mahat, mahat, great, great, swargyam, swargyam. Bestowing achievement, bestowing achievement of heavenly planets, of heavenly planets. Dravyam, dravyam. Or Dhruvaloka. Or Dhruvaloka. Saumanasyam. Saumanasyam. Pleasing to the mind. Pleasing to the mind. Prashasyam. Prashasyam. Glorious. Glorious. Aghamarsanam. Aghamarsanam. Counteracting all kinds of sinful activities. Counteracting all kinds of sinful activities. Translation and purport by His Divine Grace Sri Bhaktivedanta Swami Sri Prabhupada Ki Jai. By hearing the narration of Dhruva Maharaj, 
One can fulfill desires for wealth, reputation, and increased duration of life. It is so auspicious that one can even go to a heavenly planet or attain Dhruvaloka, which was achieved by Dhruva Maharaj just by hearing about him. The demigods also become pleased because this narration is so glorious and it is so powerful that it can counteract all the results of one's sinful actions. Can you repeat after me? By hearing the narration, by, by hearing the narration, narration of Dhruva Maharaj, of Dhruva Dhruva Maharaj, Maharaj one can fulfill desires, one can fulfill desires, desires for wealth, for wealth, reputation, reputation, an increased duration of life, an increased duration of life. It is so auspicious. It is so auspicious that one can even go that one can even go to a heavenly planet to a heavenly planet or attain dhruvaloka or attain dhruvaloka which was achieved which was achieved by dhruva maharaj by dhruva maharaj just by hearing about him just by hearing about him the demigods, the demigods also become pleased also become pleased because this narration because this narration is so glorious is so glorious and it is so powerful and it is so powerful that it can counteract that it can counteract all the results all the results of one's sinful actions of one's sinful actions purport there are different types of men in this world not all of them pure devotees some are karmis desiring to acquire vast wealth there are also persons who are only after reputation. Some desire to be elevated to the heavenly planets or go to Dhruvaloka. And others want to please the demigods to get material profits. Herein it is recommended by Maitreya that every one of them can hear the narration about Dhruva Maharaj and thus get their desired goal. It is recommended that the devotees, uh, Akama, the Karmis, Sarvakama, and the Gyanis who desire to be liberated, Mokshakama, should all worship the Supreme Personality of Godhead to acquire their desired goals of life. Similarly, if anyone hears about the activities of the Lord's devotee, he can achieve the same result. There is no difference between the activities and character of the Supreme Personality of Godhead and those of his pure devotees. Translation again. By hearing the narration of Dhruva Maharaj, one can fulfill desires for wealth, reputation, and increased duration of life. It is so auspicious that one can even go to a heavenly planet or attain Dhruvaloka, which was achieved by Dhruva Maharaj just by hearing about him. The demigods also become pleased because this narration is so glorious 
And it is so powerful that it can counteract all the results of one's sinful actions. So the verse is nicely glorifying the result of uh, simply hearing this particular narration of uh, Dhruva Maharaj. So many nice points are being uh, mentioned here. How simply by hearing this narration, one can become very wealthy. One's reputation can be enhanced one's duration of life as well. And especially, it can counteract all the results of one's sinful actions. Prabhupada in the purport is referring to one verse which is in the Bhagavatam. Akama sarva kama moksha kama daradi trivena bhakti yogena Regardless of one's position in the material world, whether one has many material desires, whether one has no material desires, or whether one has desire for liberation. All persons are encouraged to actually take up to the process of bhakti devotional service, because it is all auspicious. It is all auspicious because it reconnects the living entity with his original nature. This is often explained in the fourth canto and the very first canto of the Bhagavatam, second chapter, which is entitled Divinity and Divine Service. Divinity and Divine Service. Very nice A series of verses describing what happens as soon as one begins to hear, even though we may not always understand. Srinvatam, Srinvatam Svakatha Krishna, Punya Sravana Kirtana, Rijanta Stoya Badrani Vidunoti Saritsatam. It is explained how the uh, hearing process is the most, the, the ears, actually, the ears and the ability to hear is the last of the senses even on our deathbed, a personal experience, not being on my deathbed, but <laughs> of seeing someone, one of our, he was not a full-time devotee. This happened in Montreal. He was coming and uh, he liked devotees, especially he liked Prashant, like many people. So he would come and do some, he would clean the temple floor. But he was caught up with so many, you know, in a big city, Montreal is um, a replica of what New York is for Canada. Very degraded. So, but somehow he had an attraction for devotees, and but he had all kinds of bad habits. He was not so old, but his health was being affected. That's what happens. Actually, people don't realize the more especially from a young age, the more from a young age one in, allows oneself to engage in all kinds of sense gratification by taking alcohol, by taking all kinds of intoxicants, illicit sex life, etc. It really uh, wears down, as they say, wears down the body, the, the natural various organs in the body that help one to be healthy become uh, affected at a very early age and they're people from a young age and that's why in the Bhagavatam it mentions how gradually more and more people at a younger age will will be <clears throat> getting close to old age then they'll, they'll uh, become old at a younger age They'll have white hair. Who has white hair? <laughs> Many people have white hair or no hair. <laughs> Even they're like 20, 25, more and more. 
So anyway, this is the Vodzi. <coughs> Everyone knew that he was connected with the Hare Krishna. So one day we got a telephone call. Uh, he's in the hospital and he probably will not survive because of these different bad habits. So we all decided to go and see him. We took some prasadam, we took uh, kartal, and uh, so as we entered the room, we could see that actually he was unconscious. He was unconscious. And he remained unconscious actually until maybe within a few days. So there was one nurse attending him and uh, devotees were talking in different ways. We were trying to talk to him, but you know, ordinary people uh, who don't know the psycho psychological state of people who are, he was like in a coma condition actually. So at some point, you know, we, we recited some prayers, a few devotees spoke to him, but he was totally uh, not responding. Then the nurse mentioned that actually he can hear every single word that you're telling. Because the hearing uh, capacity is, is, is still there, practically till one leaves the body. Even though one may be in a coma, Actually, someone related how there was a person and sometimes people stay in coma for not just a few hours or not even a few days. They stay in coma for years. There was this person who was in a coma for something like 30 years. Can you imagine? You know, you're in a coma. You can't interact with people. But you can hear and most people don't understand that. So there was one, this one person who was in a coma for 30 years, one doctor uh, figured out a way to communicate with him. And this person, I don't know how he did it, but started to respond. And part of his response was that, I've been waiting 30 years to speak to somebody. <laughs> so hearing is very powerful, that's why in our process of bhakti, sravanam, sravanam, kirtanam, vishnu smaranam. Hearing is, these, these two are considered the most important actually. Hearing, constantly hearing, every day, nityam, nityam, all the time, every day, hearing transcendental sound vibration. Why? Because it has this positive, very uh, strong positive uh, effect or influence on us, on the spirit soul, and also on the body. You know, if, uh, transcendental sound uh, is very powerful. Even material sound, uh, for example, people who have the habit of reciting Sanskrit. I was in Indonesia some years back and there was one, this one Brahmana. Many people from India, they work in, in, uh, is that in, well, that was in, I think it was in Cambodia. Anyway, one of those countries. He had been uh, teaching, he'd been working in that country for quite some years. He was very well versed in Sanskrit. And he was explaining how, because it says Sanskrit language is a perfect language, as we know, the mother of all languages. So simply by speaking Sanskrit, even though one may not be speaking about spiritual things, uh, Sanskrit is such a powerful language, such a scientific language, that it produces uh, like uh, good effect, you know, it is uh, beneficial you know, materially for, for the body, for the mind. What to speak of Sanskrit that is glorifying as we are reading 
every day in the Bhagavatam. Uh, it is all in Sanskrit, but it is directly connected with the transcendental subject matter of the Lord or the Lord's devotees, the Lord's activities, the, uh, or the devotees' activities. So this is very, very powerful. And that is one of the main reasons why this uh, chanting of the holy name in, in, in public has such a, a, a profound uh, effect, actually. Uh, that's why it is the recommended process for this age of, of Kali. Transcendental sound vibration, we cannot see it because it's transcendental and we are sitting in a material body. <laughs> But transcendental sound vibration makes that connection with the transcendental realm, transcendental nature. And even we may not realize it, it has all kinds of very, uh, very positive, well, some of these results of hearing such transcendental subject matters are, are outlined you know, in this verse here. And what is most important, the more we, uh, that's why Prabhupada would say, you know, keep yourself engaged, keep ourselves engaged 24 hours a day. That means uh, we become protected, we become immunized. It's a good time to talk about immunization. <laughs> we become immunized against the material virus of Maya. <laughs> It's not the first time there's a virus. <laughs> yeah. We're constantly bombarded, actually, by all kinds of negativities and allurements and attractions, all of which are actually deviating us from the real goal and purpose of life. So therefore, that association of devotees is also uh, emphasized as being so essential and important to provide us, to give us actually that, that, that protection. We become protected by being in the association of devotees, by performing all, all of these devotional activities, by attending Srimad Bhagavatam class, uh, all of these activities. So, and that is why it is mentioned also a, a, a devotee who does this is, is considered as not living in the material world, although being in the material world, you know, because he's keeping that, that uh, transcendental connection to these nine activities of devotional service, especially. Savanam, Kirtanam, Vishnu, Smaranam, Padasevam, Padasevanam, Arsanam, Bandhanam, Dasyam, Sakyam, Atma, Nivedanam. They're all meant to reconnect us with the divine, with the transcendental nature. So, even in this age of Kali, which is most fallen of all ages, very contaminated, that is the best remedy. We've heard also how an important statement made by Srila Bhakti Vinod Thakur. And again, that's why the injunction is there in the Shastra. If someone hears Sankirtan, the chanting, one should join. That's a, a, a prescription. Or it is uh, enjoined that one should, should not neglect or join wherever there is the chanting of the Holy Name. And Srila Bhakti Thakur makes the following statement that there is no, no safer place in the material world than, than to be in that place where there is the chanting of the Holy Name. Because one is, uh, is surrounding oneself by this transcendental sound vibration. This will be further elaborated upon tomorrow because tomorrow's text also begins with the, the word Shrutva, which means hearing also. Mm -hmm. uh, so, 
So this is the last point that Prabhupada mentions actually in the purport that uh, yeah, there is Srinvatam Svakata Krishna, hearing Kata, hearing words about uh, Krishna, but also as powerful, this is the point being made here, as powerful is hearing about the activities of the Lord's devotees because those activities uh, of personalities like Dhruva Maharaj, Narada Muni and uh, Prahlad, so many exalted personalities. We have, you know, ordinary people, they have some relatives and there might be one prominent person, one exalted person, materially speaking, but when we become devotees, we automatically become connected. We, we can benefit actually, we do benefit, and we can benefit even more by appreciating the, practically speaking, unlimited number of transcendental personalities who have come before us, before us, uh, who have exhibited various pastimes, various activities, and who remain also our well-wishers. Uh, so when we, when we are fortunate to come in contact and to keep that contact with Guru Parampada, then uh, we receive immense uh, benefit in this way also. The verse is very nice, let me read it again, and if there's any comment or question. By hearing the narration of Dhruva Maharaj, one can fulfill desires for wealth. Of course, the devotee has no desire for wealth, no reputation. Uh, reputation and increased duration of life. It is so auspicious that one can even go to the heavenly planet which devotees don't want to do also, <laughs> uh, or attain Dhruva Loka. Uh, I guess maybe on the way out might be nice to start by. But <laughs> uh, which was achieved by Dhruva Maharaj, just by hearing about him. The demigods also become pleased because this narration is so glorious and it is so powerful that it can counteract all the results of one's sinful actions. Comment? So we'll close here. Jai Gantarashma Bhagavatam Naki Jai Sri Bhagavatam Naki Jai Gaurabhima Jai 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 J